Hey, what's up, friends? Yo, look at this. We got the brand new iridescent GA2100 SRS-7A, and I'm not going to call it that because Casio has some crazy naming schemes, but you know, this watch literally just came hot off the press. It just showed up at my door, and I freaking love Casio's. The GA2100 design, you know, they've got all these crazy wild colorways, and Casio just continues to concoct new ones each year and you know this one is by far one of the craziest watch crystals i've ever seen and you can also get this watch in black but i honestly think the transparent case and band is way better looking for this wild rainbow iridescent crystal and you know one of my favorite ga2100s that i wear a lot is the transparent ga2100 ske which is basically the exact same watch it just has a darker face and a negative display. But, you know, this new iridescent model is kind of like a unicorn on steroids version of it. And if you want people to ask you what kind of watch you're wearing, this is definitely going to be the one. Of course, like all GA2100s, this has a stainless steel backing and a carbon resin casing, and the crystal is made of mineral glass. It also has that patented reinforced carbon core technology with 200 meters of water resistance. So this watch is a do everything, do anything kind of watch, and it'll probably outlive you. This new iridescent design has crossed over from other G-Shock colorways that had the same look but on the case, but they switched it up. They did this to the watch crystal with a full treated faded mirror iridescent design, and I love it. It just screams summertime vibes and this is a summertime watch. The way the light hits this watch is going to give you a different look each time, so it's never really all that consistent, which is kind of fun, you know? Watches should be fun, especially G-Shocks, and in the right light, it looks so dope, it's very legible to read. But I did notice if you're in harsh sunlight, it's going to turn into a mirror and look more like pastel. Although it's not that easy to read when it's like this, it does give this watch a completely new look on your wrist. So it goes from that deep rainbow fade to a more softer reflective pastel looking design, which is kind of cool. And you know, I think that this is why the transparent clear case looks better for this type of watch. Now, as you know, I love this GA2100 design, AKA the Casio, which actually got that name just because it has a similar bezel design to the AP Royal Oak. And I haven't really admitted this out loud, but this is gonna be the first time I say it. I think I got an obsession with these watches because I've got a bunch now, but this iridescent finish has quickly become one of my favorite colorways. Okay, so looking through this wild iridescent crystal shows what I can only perceive as a white watch face with silver metallic indices, but taking a closer look at this watch face from an angle, it almost looks more metallic as well. The hands have kind of a black with white loom, but it's hard to tell. That could also be polished stainless steel. And to the left of that, we've got the day indicator, and that hand is actually reversed, where it's mostly white with a black outline, and that does not have any loom. Only the hour and minute hands have loom, but you know, this watch does have an LED, so that kind of makes up for that. But the problem is this LED is always weak on the GA2100 series of watches. It's almost kind of a waste of time to have it. It only really lights up the digital display and not even well at that. But this new iridescent model has a much stronger LED. And my assumption is that it's there to overcompensate for that coated crystal. That said, it's still pretty weak. And I doubt Casio even cares because they do have the capability to make a nice bright LED if they wanted to. But comparing this to the other GA2100s, it is a little bit brighter. Now, when it comes to the features of this watch, I'm not going to dig that deep. It's your typical GA2100. You've got the analog hands for telling the time and the day, as well as the digital LCD window at the bottom for displaying the date, as well as the seconds and other features in the menu. Setting the times easy. You've got 31 time zones and 48 cities to choose from, and it'll auto set the time based off that. It'll even deal with the daylight saving time. It's got a timer, a stopwatch, as well as a possibility to set up five different daily alarms as a fully auto calendar up to the year 2099. So if you do watch this review in 77 years, well, I'm sorry. This watch actually didn't outlive you like I said it would. This watch is super light like all the GA2100s, as long as they're not made out of stainless. It's only 52 grams with the band, and although the dimensions of this watch seem daunting to a dainty wrist, it doesn't wear that big as it sounds. I feel like I have an average size wrist. I'm about 7 inches or 17.8 centimeters, but I don't even know what's normal. I think if you have anything under a 6 inch wrist, it's going to look a little big, but that's just how G-Shocks are. They wear big. The case is 45 millimeters by 47 to 48 millimeters, depending on which part of the band you measure from, and it's only 11.6 millimeters thick. The website dimensions are saying it's a little bit bigger than what I measure, but maybe it's because I'm using a garbage piece of junk $12 caliper off Amazon. Overall, this is a wild looking watch, and I think that it's now one of my favorites in my ever growing G-Shock collection. The way the light reflects and changes based off the way you hold the watch face is so unique, and I don't think I've seen anything like it before. This is hands down an 8 out of 10 for me. The only thing that would make this watch better is if the LED would light the entire watch face instead of the corner. 
but that's just how these watches are and I don't think that's ever going to change. If you're looking to get one of these watches, I'll put some links in the description. Thanks for watching my first watch review. It was a lot of fun making. I got a lot of fun stuff planned for the future, so get subscribed, hit that bell, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay fresh. Thank you.